I want to show you guys a better way on converting your avatars from VR chat over to chill out VR. Now I am using different conversion tools that actually are far more stable than the previous tools that you may have used. Um, I know a lot of people have tried my tutorial on my last video, which, you know, it does work for most avatars, but some people, I guess, still had issues. Now with these, uh, the new tools I'm going to show you guys, I've had just success only. So I would definitely recommend trying these new tools. That's from a different creator. Um, I'll also use a different bone conversion tool for those, you know, who had issues with the last tool, um, just to give you guys some more variety. So what you're going to want to first do is download the appropriate scripts. Now there's this one SDK to CCK and I'll have all the links in the description as well. So you're going to want to download this, you know, it's a free conversion tool. So you can enter zero or you could enter however much, you know, you want to uh, donate, I guess, in other words, to the creator. Same with the dynamic bones. It's a free tool. You can enter zero. If you want to support the creator, enter however much you want to do, then select purchase. So you can select purchase even if it's zero. Um, and then after that, there will be a download link where you could download the uh, scripts. So once you have them downloaded, uh, you're going to want to head over to your Unity package, or your project folder, I should say. And then you're going to want to import all the scripts. Now, I have all of these downloaded already. And I will say, if you don't have Dynamic Bones imported in the package, be sure to import that before you import any of the tools. Um, I also have the Unity store link if you don't have Dynamic Bones. So I'll go ahead and open Dynamic Bones. going to let that import. Now, the next thing I'm going to import is the Chill Out VR SDK, or I guess I should say CCK is what they name it by. Okay. Um, the next thing you're going to want to import is either of these two. So it doesn't matter which goes first. So I'm going to do the AVI conversion one. And then last, I'm going to import the dynamic bone conversion tool. So I'll import that as well. Okay. Now that they're all imported, um, well, what I would recommend, not recommend, but what you do need to make sure of is that you have the latest VRChat SDK imported into your project folder because the conversion tools rely on that SDK so they know how to read the old scripts from VR chat. So be sure you have the latest SDK. Um, so I'll go ahead and start converting this avatar. Now, this is an avatar my friend made. It's originally from VR chat. So um, this conversion will, you know, fix that. So uh, what you're going to want to do from here is select your avatar there. Um, head over to where is it? Uh, Fluff's toolbox. Go to Chill Out VR, convert SDK3 to CCK. Now, you could either drag it or select from scene. Um, so I will go ahead and click convert. Okay. You can see how it duplicates the avatar. So um, their old one is untouched. So just be sure to hide the old one. So this is the new one. Um, and on this script too, it looks like the mouth positioning gets, you know, placed in the appropriate location. So no need to adjust that. Okay. So from here, you're going to want to open up Fluff's toolbox again. Go to dynamic bones. Now be sure to select the correct one, which is going to be convert physics to dynamic bones. Um, now, if your, if your avatar has dynamic bones originally, then just ignore this step. So we're going to drag it again. Um, now, you could uh, enter any of these values if you want to change anything. Um, but I'll be sure just to convert it now. Okay, so now it's going to create another one. You could delete this one, I guess. So delete that. So this is the new version. It has dynamic bones on it. Um, so everything's converted. I mean, you could verify it too if you want to, you know, go through all that, which I'm not going to show in this video, but okay. So that's pretty much it for the conversion. And, you know, all you do to upload it, just go to Alpha Blend Interactive Control Panel. I'm already signed in, so I'm going to sign out just to show you guys. So Jordan VR. 
Uh, and then also, you're going to want to go to, I'll have this link also. Basically, just click on profile and then settings. Uh, you're going to want to scroll all the way down. Now, there's two keys here. The one that you want to log into the SDK for Chillout VR is this content creation one. So just select copy. Now, this is different from your password to your account. So be sure to copy and paste this key. Um, I don't know why that didn't copy. Let me try it again. Copy. Okay. Uh, no, I guess it did. Okay. Log in. Oops. Try that again. Okay. Now we're logged in. So I'm going to just drag this tab over here and make it easy for me. Um, and then all you do is just select upload avatar. Now I have this uploaded already. Um, so I'm not going to go through that whole step, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'll go ahead and just show you on my game really quick that the toggles work because I already did upload this. I already converted it. So if you go to, let's see, oops, you could either, if you're in desktop mode, you could click tab, you get this quick menu, or you could do it this way too. So you have advanced avatar. All your toggles are in there. The easier way for me is just select tab. Now you have the same menu in VR as well. Uh, advanced avatar, you could see that you know, the hats change. Um, let's see. I can take glasses off. Uh, I can take the hoodie off. There's bunny ear materials. Um, switch right there. Um, I could also take the ears off. Uh, let's see. You can see that everything pretty much, not pretty much, but everything works. So this is definitely recommended, this tool, um, over the other one because the toggles actually work so but uh if you guys have any questions you know you could ask me in my uh comments now i don't always get back to the comments as frequently but you could also join my discord server which i'll also have linked in the description um don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications as i'm gonna create more content for this game um i will lastly say that when you convert bones Sometimes they can break, so you may have to adjust them manually, some of their values, but yeah. I will see you guys in the next video.